Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. And in this video, we will see how to use radio buttons in our Android activity. Now, last time we have seen how to use checkboxes. And the basic difference between checkboxes and radio button is that whenever you want to allow the user to choose multiple options out of a list of options, you generally use checkboxes. But whenever you want to allow the user to choose only one option out of multiple options, then you can use radio buttons. For example, uh, we will take the, uh, you know, example uh, that we have taken last time that we want to allow the user to choose his or her uh, favorite animal. But this time we want the user or we want to allow the user to choose only one option out of uh, multiple options. And for that, we are going to use radio buttons. Now, let's uh, take a look at some examples so that we can understand this concept uh, in uh, more detail. So I'm going to go to my palette and there is a container uh, here called a radio button container or radio group, which I'm going to drag and drop here. Now, radio group is uh, a container which we can use to group radio buttons and whatever radio buttons we put inside this radio group they are grouped together and the logic behind uh, this grouping is in this group out of this group we will be only able to uh, you know select only one option out of uh, multiple radio buttons okay now i'm going to go to my uh, palette and take some radio buttons here one two and three radio buttons for three animals and I will take a button and then I'm going to change the I will put this button outside uh, this uh, outside this radio group and now I'm going to select my radio group and in here in the properties for uh, layout width of this radio group I will uh, change it to wrap content and height also wrap content so that it takes the space uh, which it's uh, you know it wants to take right not enough uh, not much space now i'm going to change the name of these radio buttons Now we can uh, go to our main activity dot java file to write some code for these uh, for these radio buttons and this uh, button. So I will go to my main activity dot java file and in my main activity class I'm going to declare uh, these variable which are uh, three radio buttons and one button and one radio group which is uh, this radio group we have taken okay so i'm going to um, add these uh, uh, variables So now we have uh, declared our variables here. Now we are going to uh, create a method. So we will create a method whenever we call this method in onCreate so that it can listen to button click event. So public void and on click listener for button okay so p button and this is not going to take any argument and inside uh, this method what we are going to do is we are going to cast our radio group first okay so in here radio g for radio group is equal to in the bracket radio group and we will find it by id so find view by id r dot id dot 
radio group right so the name of our radio group was I think we haven't decided, uh, you know, uh, defined the ID of this uh, radio group. So if it's not defined, just select your radio group or select here and uh, go to the property called ID and s give an ID to your radio group. For example, RG for radio group, RG for animals. So this is for uh, this is the ID which is RD underscore animal for the radio group. Okay, and I'm going to copy this and go to here where I am casting my radio group, and I will paste this ID here. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same for uh, other uh, button. So. Let's do one more thing uh, before uh, uh, calling this uh, set on click listener for button that let's uh, declare only one variable for radio button because uh, we are going to need only one radio button because we are going to you know allow the user to select only one uh, radio button right so we don't uh, require more variables for radio button okay and whatever radio button uh, user select we are going to cast this to this radio B now uh, we will uh, set on click listener for button so button submit which is our button dot on click listener or set on click listener so set on click listener and in here will create a new on click listener okay on click listener and inside uh, this uh, on click method what we are going to do is we will uh, declare a uh, integer for uh, uh, deciding of for getting the id from the group right so we will name it as selected id is equal to and then we are going to take our radio group variable and then we will get the id so get check radio button id and then this radio uh, or selected id we will pass to our radio b which is radio button variable right so radio b is equal to we will cast it to radio button radio button and then we will find view by id find view by id and this id we will get from radio button we can pass it here as an argument and now whatever uh, you know button is selected on uh, you know radio button is selected we can get the text from this button and display okay so what we can do is we can call the toast dot make text text and in here we can call three arguments now you already know what are the arguments call right this and second is the text itself so we will take this radio button dot get text dot to string okay and third is toast dot length short for example and outside uh, this uh, toast we will just show it all right so like this are going to uh, you know include this method in our on create uh, method here so I will copy the name of the function or method and paste it here I will change it to German and paste it here and now we are going to run our application so run the application and here the application will appear so select your device and now it's going to appear here 
So now our application is running and whenever we select any item from here, we will only be able to select one out of uh, these items because uh, remember we have enclosed these radio buttons inside the radio group and whenever you enclose uh, these radio buttons inside the radio button you will only be able to select one radio button at a time okay and you can add multiple radio groups to group your radio buttons so you can add one more group for example choose your favorite uh, anything and you will be able to select only one out uh, one item out of uh, this radio group also okay so always group your radio button inside a radio group now for example i select this and click submit and it says dog for example i select cat and click submit it says cat and same it will say for cow right so in this way you can use radio buttons in your android activity i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now